this big ship behind me is full of foam. Um, they put expanding foam down there to stop it sinking years ago. This is a video about digging the foam out and seeing what's down there and trying to make some more space. Beauty! Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Are you going to be doing that all day? This is Ben. He's the captain of the ship. Ben's building a big Hoover bag machine. So there's going to be six of these filters to filter the dust as it comes out of the boat. So this is a lighthouse ship. Um, it was used originally as a sort of mobile lighthouse that could be anchored off in various parts of the country. Um, it was built in 1939. Back in the 80s, they started filling up the compartments with buoyancy foam. I guess it's sort of 30 year old foam that we're digging out. And the whole boat's full of it. All the different bulkheads are filled with foam and slowly Ben's been carving it out. The Hoover box is taking shape. Look at that. So the foam goes in there, gets munched, goes down the pipe. It's time for the first test. Here we go. Okay, here's the bag. Oh, it's high pressure. This is a beautiful machine. It's time to start excavating. The excavation begins. I said that already. I know, but I wasn't recording. <laughs> so basically it's going to be a lot of that for a long time. Yeah. The moment of truth. The nozzle's going to suck up this foam. <laughs> Bloody work! I told you it would work. <laughs> There's no dust at all, is there? No. Okay. So here's the foam collected in the box. It's totally working. We're excavating. This is like archaeology. We're digging into the boat. How big a hole are you going to cut? So this is going to be the new hatch. So you're cutting a new hole there. Hey! Look at all that foam. Wow, that's a really big, kind of crazy bit. All right, foam ahoy. Off it goes, straight in. Lovely bit of foam here. I'm going to stand in my new room. Time for a hoover. <laughs> time for a hoover. Unsheath the hoover. It's time to unsheath the hoover. Cutting out all the foam by hand is a very slow and painful process. So we've been having to think about what we could do to speed things up. And we were looking on the internet, uh, there's nothing really available. But then we did find this, the 800 watt garden tiller. So this is an electric kind of uh, plow for your garden. If you wanted to sow vegetables, you could use this to rip up the soil. Hopefully this is gonna speed things along. It might just be a terrible failure. Anything where you can use an electric tool rather than doing it by hand is definitely a good idea. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, electric tiller is just making mincemeat of the phone. It's like a hot knife through phone.
We burnt it out. It's died. But um, it did prove that this is a good solution as long as we don't let it overheat. So we just need to get some more. Ben, can you get some more? How much was that? It's quite a lot. She was a bit of 69 pounds. 69 pounds. It's a shame. First bag is full, full of foam. Hopefully it's had a chance to cool down and it's going to work again. Yay! He's happy. That's, that, that's a happy face. So what do you think? You're going in. It's pretty spacious, isn't it? This is like the size of the labs or something now. It does feel like being down a mine now. It's kind of a soft foamy mine. Okay, we let the machine cool down for a minute and it's now working perfectly. Two bags. It's time to get suited. Okay, this is the foam. It's really lightweight. In chunks like this, it feels very manageable, but just in large quantities, it's actually quite hard to budge. When the foam is poured in, it was poured in in two parts. It mixes together, expands, and then sets. And you can see here where it's formed around the contours of the boat. Oh, bad. You look like a sheep. He's got a load of turds congealed around his bum. I was thinking of you earlier. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah. Dug in. Yes. Ben's been shopping. Oh yeah. 550 watts. How much is that? 40 quid. 40 pounds. Fail, fail. The uh, electric hedge trimmer's rubbish. Sawing is too big, so it doesn't go through the uh, mulching machine. So um, that's Ben now cracking on with the electric chiller. So I'm gonna go and give him a hand. It's a relentless, hideous task, but I can't stop myself just carrying on. Uh, today, is the big push. We've got another electric tiller and there's some backup coming, so hopefully we're going to clear a massive space. Ben sometimes seems a bit grumpy, but um, I know he loves me really. So how, what's that? Bag number six or bag number seven? That's bag number seven. I've always wanted to go into a giant foam pit. Get, get back down the hole. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll hit the back. Then what? Then we'll go home. Special treat? Yeah, I'll buy you a coffee. <laughs> Woo! Maybe a Snickers. <laughs> okay. Do you feel a bit let down that... Well, at the moment I'll graduate to the big one. Uh, it's quite it's, sort of addictive. Yeah, it's uh, exhilarating. Yeah. Okay, if all else fails, we've got one of these. Nin, 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 nin. The second batch of bags, um, that's eight, nine, that's bag number 10. Beautiful shot, guys. Seven bags of foam, off to be recycled. I've been away for a few days and I'm looking forward to seeing what progress there is downstairs. I know they've got a different colour of suits, they've gone for white and they've also got a different type of bag. Transparent foam sausages.
It's a lot of bad. For the five bad shot. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, I could put the big This is now like meters deep. I think we're nearly there now, aren't we? We are actually like, we've broken the back of it. It's very dusty down there. Um, I don't recommend it. If you, if you want to try this at home, um, just don't do it because it's very dusty. We're nearly hitting the floor. Either the next time or the time after that, we're going to be on the floor here. Do you enjoy the mining process? No. I mean, it's satisfying, but it's bloody horrible. It is quite satisfying, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Do you think we were slightly addicted to it? No. So, Holy Grail, we've reached the floor. Uh, it's one big, thick, flat sheet of steel. Look at that, it's the floor! It's the floor! It's the floor! How's it going? Badly. Why? We got some. You've broken all the tillers. Oh, I thought you. Were... Did you not order any more yesterday? I ordered some more, but they, they won't be here until tomorrow. Shit. The tillers have all died. God, this is an exciting point in the YouTube video, guys. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> well, this is tiller number five, it's died. And this cog is completely stripped. This ship is really big. Inside it has two separate apartments. It's got two offices and downstairs there's a large recording studio. The boat is about 46 meters long. It weighs about 550 tons. How many bags have we done today? Um, I don't know. I think maybe this was a bigger job than Ben anticipated. There's still a bit more down there, but it's pretty much done. Thank you very much. Back in a minute, you do okay, you're going to do another load, are you? Yeah, mate. Yeah. The sausages are going. It's like a proper room. We're going to do 10 bags, and then this is, we're pretty much going to be done, right? No. Well. 10 bags and I reckon we're going to be done. Ben says not. It's going to look like a room in 10 bags. Today's the new record for bag loading. We've done 11. I think we've done something like 60 bags to actually get to the bottom. It's like a <laughs> so much foam. But this is the final day, isn't it? Probably not. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Get down the hole. The big reveal. It's not the big reveal, stop saying that. <laughs> Careful of this, it's a bit fun. This is the last bit to go. We finally got there. The floor's uncovered. Um, there's just a few bits more foam to hoover.
lot of time has passed since we started this mining project. It's now the winter. It's a lot of portholes. Okay, foam is all gone and it's really looking quite spacious. That. It's going to be bathed in light in here, isn't it? Bathed in light. The original portholes that were there from when it was made were covered over in the 1980s and now Ben's cutting them open again. Looking really nice. I mean, it's got a completely different feel to it down here now. And it's done two windows on the other side. The light is already streaming in. Suddenly you can feel the space is like, it's not just a big dark box. It's like a proper room now though, it really is. Um, pretty bloody heavy. Um, so this is what you'd use to break into a safe or um, some other valuable um, storage area. So this drill's magnetic. This drill's magnetic. It sucks onto the wall and it's like a pillar drill. You can then just set it going and it just holds onto the wall and drill straight in. That's Ludo. He started the big job of painting this place and it's already looking much, much lighter. The side wall will go from here straight back. So what, another three months? Don't know. Who knows? Great. Well, I look forward to seeing it finished. It's the next out floor, yeah? It's even got an echo in here now. Joyce to go down, it's going to be a lovely flat floor. The metal floor here is actually sloped, so this is going to be completely flat. How's it going on there? Finished it yet? We've been doing this for so long. It's now the middle of the winter and it's snowing on board. Ben wants to make it into a passive house, so it's going to be completely sealed with a heat exchanger unit, so the air is going to be sucked out and the heat's going to be taken out of the air and put back into the room, so it's going to be very eco. The insulation is going in, it's warmer already. Very nice. The walls are going up, so then you can attach the plywood to this. Oh, this is like some beautiful woodworking <laughs> video. <laughs> Looking good down there, isn't it? Like a proper room. Oh, look at that. So, windows are boxed in. These are going to be glazed. There's a kind of double glazed panel to keep the uh, cold out. Wiring's going in. Built in shelves in here. Very nice. It's like a proper room. <laughs> Rock was on, then this foil's going on, 
then the plywood's going on top of that. It's going to be very well insulated. So most of the boarding outs happen. There's a lot of light coming in. There's a new skylight in. It's going to be a very nice office. Mm. Speakers are in. Stereo. Ooh, that's nice. Don't touch it, don't touch it. <laughs> Workbench is going in over there. Kitchen's going here. Plumbing. Storage. Just a standard workshop. Right, so this is worktop along there. Yeah, work, work here. So kitchen, kitchen, worky, worky. The project's been going on for a hell of a long time. It's been over a year. Ben's been fiddling around down there. He's just doing the last little finishing touches before this becomes a proper room. This is the companion way. It's looking very smart. Well, so this is the main entrance. Yep. Is any action down in the... Uh... Uh, well, there's the stairs. Oh, yeah. Hello! Oh, it's looking smart down here. Kitchen's pretty much there, isn't it? Basically, Ben wants this to be done by Christmas. If you've ever watched those shows where people do up their own houses, they never get in by Christmas. But God, I hope they do. Because I want to get this video finished and edited and on the internet. Ben! Ben! Open your door. Open your door. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's probably more light than it was before actually because it's reflecting around and these, these two windows are covered up as well. So you're going to have an inner hatch here. Inner hatch with double glazing in. Pretty much there. Hey, it's got everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, no. It's got the kitchen sink as well. <laughs> Oh, we've got lights down here, power, ooh, cupboards. Oh, it looks great. I haven't got any fingertips left anymore now. The proper room is now being properly painted. Sink's going in. I mean, it's going to look like this is going to be a professional finish. Yeah. It's going to be a very nice office space. Ben's going to be able to sit down there and do big deals and be a big businessman. Maybe I'll be allowed down there too, you know, now and then to um, use the photocopier. You open it. Oh, look. So how far away are we now? The lights are in. First two switches. Yeah. It feels really warm in here now. It's 20 degrees. So does this control? Oh, look, that's nice. It lights up. The heating is in. Just going to hold that end in case it's there. Uh... So basically, all the portholes are going to be double glazed like this. Sockets are in with USB. Sink is finally in. It's like a proper room. Ben, it's been two years. It Get on. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been two years. It has actually been two years. It hasn't even been two years. It's been a year and ten months, but it's been worth every minute. I've been here doing all the work. Ben's been just fiddling with stuff. Hello. Look at this. It's like a proper room. It's looking pretty smart down here. Ben is still fiddling around. I don't know what he's doing, but um, it's looking almost done. Still to do is the floor. The floor is down. Ben's doing the final, just bits and bobs and finishing off. He 
internet router is up on the wall over there. Ben's still here fiddling around, but uh, it's nearly done. It's been nearly two years, but I think it's finally there. Somewhere down in that ship, there might just be a proper room. Let's go and have a look. Follow me. Here he is, the man himself. I'm after you, Ben, please. Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness. This is like a proper room. Well, no, I mean, it's definitely slicker than I thought it was going to be. It's very white, isn't it? Yeah, it's white. New chairs, look at that. Brown spankers. Look at this kitchen, all done. Very nice. Fridge. Obviously, every office needs a big desk like this. This is no exception. We've got the lighting in. There are power sockets here. There's plenty of storage. Oh, hold on. It's a very large, I believe, A1, A3 printer. I mean, they really have thought of everything. We've got more storage down here. Great. Ink cartridges over here. What will we find? Oh, it's a printer. It's a scanner. Yes. Well done, Ben. Here we've got knickknacks. This is all in. Who lives in an office like this? <laughs> Vicky and Ben, because this is their office. It's great. Yeah, Look at that. It works. Yeah. Oh, you've got some good pencils here. Yeah. This feels very comfortable sitting here. Who'd have thought this was once full of foam? Ta-da! <laughs> storage. Great storage. Ben sits there. Are you proud? Yes. You've done a very good job. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> This is a proper room, it's a proper office. It's been nearly two years, but what a transformation. Remember those days when it was full of foam? And now it's like this. I've been Harry Dwyer, this has been a video about mining a lot of foam and creating an office. Look at it, it's like a proper room. Cheerio, thank you.